the Digital Earth Pacific platform harnesses the global satellite network to provide Pacific Island countries with vital information on their changing environments. This platform could transform the way Pacific leaders make planning decisions about areas such as coasts, rivers, and catchments. I believe that this platform, Digital Earth Pacific, it, it's a powerful product, a powerful platform that will help leaders uh, actually make better evidence-based decision. Coastal erosion due to sea level rise is a common issue throughout the Pacific. Digital Earth Pacific combines satellite imagery and digital tools to help users address environmental issues, such as mapping how coastlines could erode over time and atoll nations like Tuvalu. <laughs> Digital Earth Pacific's data collection is from the European Space Agency Sentinel and NASA's Landsat satellites. And over the Pacific, data collection has been ongoing for 30 years. The Digital Earth Pacific Coastline Detection Tool combines these images with readings of sea level rise to predict changing coastlines. This is helping countries like Tuvalu plan and adapt to changes in their coastal areas. <laughs> Digital Earth Pacific will support countries to understand the impacts of disasters, such as the recent Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai eruption and subsequent tsunami in January 2022. I do believe Digital Earth Pacific will be very helpful for people like me who actually have to make decisions about some of the challenges that we're facing, about sea level rising, you know, the coastal ecosystems, looking at disaster-related events. So from the use of this product, we will be able to identify the changes in land cover after a natural disaster occurs. It is very important to us to know the before and after because it will be quicker for us to identify damaged household and also land cover changes in the coastal area. By using this program, it will help us map out these evacuation routes and maps for the communities all over Tonga so that they'll be able to use this evacuation map for future disasters. Digital Earth Pacific can help to monitor and prevent illegal activities such as gravel extraction from rivers. Across the Pacific region, gravel is vital for the construction industry. But mining gravel from rivers destroys habitats and environments. The Fijian government has moved gravel quarries inland to avoid further river damage. However, the illegal extraction of river gravel has been very difficult to monitor. Using Digital Earth Pacific satellite imagery, governments can pinpoint the location of potential illegal river gravel extraction and coastal erosion. Digital Earth Pacific could transform climate change advocacy for Pacific nations on the global scale. Uh, well, we're not just talking about the environment here, we're also talking about infrastructures and uh, talking about agriculture. Those, those kind of information, I think, will help our advocacy in terms of uh, the effect of climate change, not just all about for the Pacific.